Well, Tuesday was a very good night for Democrats. And joining me now to discuss the future of Virginia and the Democratic Party is Virginia Lieutenant Governor elect Justin Fairfax. Thank you for being here. Congratulations. Thank you, Joanne. God bless you. Okay. Thank you for having us on. Great. Congratulations. You. So, you, uh, the, the victory was pretty sweeping it for was. Democrats. I was just asking you in the break, there were still some outstanding assembly yes. seats that will determine control of that body. Right. Where does that stand? Yeah, so there are three races still outstanding. We have some great Democratic candidates uh, who showed up, and one is only 12 votes uh, separating the two candidates. And right. so we will know more a little bit uh, later, but mm -hmm. it's it was an incredible night. On As Tuesday. of now, you guys are ahead, 49, 48. That's assembly. correct. Okay, that's well, correct. See how that comes out. Now, your victory was not without controversy, I will say. Not right. only I was telling you in the break that a lot of uh, a lot of black people I know were tweeting, we, we, we need to know what's <laughs> happening with Fairfax as your right. race uh, closed a little bit later. Right, right. Um, right. But there was also some controversy ahead of time. You were left off some of the flyers right. that, that uh, Northam put out. Right. Uh, Doug Wilder went so far as to uh, refuse to endorse Northam and to complain right. that, you know, that basically they were trying to hide you, the only <laughs> black candidate for statewide office, under right. a bushel in order to get white voters. What did you think of that? Yeah, well, first, uh, as regards uh, Governor Doug Wilder, he is a political hero of mine and a friend, and I talked to him the other day, and mm -hmm. uh, I was honored to have his support uh, in this election. Uh, of course, it was historic for many reasons. This is only the second time mm -hmm. an African American has been elected to statewide office uh, in the history of the Commonwealth of Virginia, and I follow in some incredible footsteps. And, and you're right, there was some controversy during the campaign, but I think uh, every time that there was an issue and, uh, you know, we were, whether us being left off or, or someone attacking us, I think we rose above it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's why we got, you know, 1.36 million votes uh, yeah. in that election, uh, the most ever for lieutenant governor. And so, um, you know, I think we're entering a new era of politics, new era of hope. Uh, people are tired of the politics of personal attack, and, uh, and they had a choice on Tuesday. And we had the other side that was trying to take us down a very dark political road. Uh, and people chose hope over fear. Uh, they voted their aspirations uh, and not their anxieties. And I think that that's why uh, we ended up uh, sweeping all three statewide races, having huge gains in mm -hmm. the General Assembly and uh, making some history. There's incredible diversity uh, now in our General Assembly. Yeah. I think that's the era that we're entering in Virginia. Yeah, there were some pretty historic races. Um, African-American women turned in 91% yes. to 8 uh, with yes. the highest uh, percentage voting. Uh, yes. And I'm sure that that didn't hurt you. I'm sure that helped you a lot. <laughs> Do you think that uh, the Charlotte, what happened in Charlottesville wound up influencing the election? I mean, Gillespie essentially he ran right. on a neo-Confederate almost right. platform. Right. Uh, do you think that that was the difference, that Charlottesville made the difference in a lot of ways? You know, I think it brought the choices in this election into very specific relief. Um, it, it showed people that they could choose either darkness over light. Uh, and what they chose was the bright light of hope. And, mm -hmm. and Charlottesville really was an opportunity for people to see what the choices were uh, that were at stake on Tuesday. And mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, our, the whole ticket on the other side really campaigned on that same kind of platform. And uh, I'm so excited that Virginians uh, are leading the way. As I said uh, on election night, Virginia uh, is the match that sparks the wildfire of progressive change mm -hmm. all across the country. Uh, and that's because that people uh, really are in a place where they want to choose more hopeful uh, politics. They want people who are help, help, helping us to rise to the better angels of our nature. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm so excited about this new era in, in the Commonwealth and really in the country. Well, they certainly got somebody positive in you, sir. <laughs> uh, Fairfax, uh, the new lieutenant governor elect. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thanks for all the great work that you do. Thank and you. Uh, we look forward to a bright new uh, era in this country. Thank you. Well, really appreciate that. I really appreciate it. And up next, Sean Hannity and his Fox friends defend Roy Moore. On another note, completely not positive. <laughs> Where are you, Joy, after the break? <laughs> we go for five. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.